If it's midnight in Tokyo on Saturday, October 28th, 2006, what time is it in London? Four in the afternoon, eight hours behind. But just one day later, on October 29th, when it's midnight in Tokyo, it will be 3 p.m. in London. London is suddenly nine hours behind. How is this possible? Well, here's the answer. For five months, from the last Sunday in October through to the last Sunday in March, Britain uses standard global time, known as Greenwich Mean Time. But from late March to late October, its clocks are moved one hour forwards, and it uses British summer time. British summer time, or daylight saving time as it is also known, was first proposed in 1907. By a Londoner called William Willett. He had noticed that in the summer the sun had already been shining for several hours in the morning by the time most people woke up. But in the evening it was already getting dark by the time they were on their way home. He therefore proposed advancing Britain's clocks in April, putting them forwards by twenty minutes on four Sundays in a row, and then at the end of the summer, Putting them back on four Sundays in September, again by 20 minutes on each occasion. That way, British people would get an extra 80 minutes of sunlight every day from the beginning of May to the end of August. This proposal wasn't accepted at the time, and it wasn't until the First World War that daylight saving time was introduced in Britain as part of the wartime effort to save energy. When it was introduced in 1916, though, the system, like today's, was simpler than the one proposed by Mr. Willett. The clocks were advanced one hour in spring and returned to Greenwich Mean Time in autumn. Some form of daylight saving time has been in use in Britain ever since. There have been some variations in the system, however. During the Second World War, for example, The clocks in summer were two hours ahead of Greenwich Mean Time. Later, from 1968 to 1971, clocks ran one hour ahead throughout the whole year. The main reason for this particular version of daylight saving time was to put Britain in the same time zone as the rest of Europe. This worked well for businesses, but it was hard on school children who lived in the north of Britain. Who in winter had to go to school in the morning in complete darkness. In 1972, Britain returned to the original system, using daylight saving time only in summer. However, safety experts argue that putting the clocks back at the end of October makes driving more dangerous throughout the winter. They estimate that about 450 deaths or serious injuries. Are caused every month in the winter by that hour of evening darkness. Children are particularly at risk. In the morning, they usually go directly to school, but in the evening, they tend to spend more time outside, either playing or on their way to the houses of friends. Despite this disadvantage, however, there are, for the time being at least, no plans to change the current system.